Hello everyone, I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV in Round Rock, Texas. Today, I am gonna show you part of the OVR line by Intec. Now this is the Expedition trailer and it's 23 feet total length, 5,300 pounds, and as you probably guessed, it is meant for the adventurous crowd. This trailer has the welded cage frame, the innovative design, and the modern interior that you've come to expect from Intec. This is one of the first OVR trailers, so keep in mind, options and features might vary. For prices and specs on this trailer, check the video description below. I cannot wait to show you all the details on this trailer. Let's head inside. Right away, I can feel this is the quality intact that I have seen in all their other lines, but I love this open feel. Let's start at the back here with the dinette area, big windows on both sides and the big window in the back. What a nice space. Did I mention it's six foot 11 tall right here? So that's almost seven foot of height. So it feels so open. L-shaped dinette, but this could easily seat six people. Really spacious, very comfortable. And again, this is the soft vinyl feel, so it's very cleanable, but very comfortable at the same time. Small table on this one, but it's perfect because it can swivel to whatever angle that you need. While this dinette doesn't turn into a bed, it is 26 inches wide, and that longest side is almost seven feet long. So certainly a sleeping area for children. At the entrance, right next to this nice sofa seating, is a pantry, or this could be anything that you needed here for storage. You've got five cubbies that have the door on them, and then two more underneath. The ones underneath, they are open, so great to slide your shoes in or anything like that. More storage right above me here. So this compartment has a magnet latch. It's about 10 inches deep and great storage up there. Reading light right here on the end. Like all the lights, it's gonna have a blue option as well. I like that because sometimes when you're camping, it's darker outside. These lights can feel kind of glary. The blue one is a really nice feel in here. Just hold this button down and it turns white again. All right, moving on. This isn't a cabinet. It's a bunk bed. It fits nicely up in the ceiling. You may not have noticed it when I came in, but it is so easy to bring down. There is a catch right over here. Just unlatch it, unlatch this side and pull this bunk down. This bunk is 31 inches wide, six foot two inches long, and it can hold 175 pounds. It is really easy for me to fold down, but I'll be honest with you, it's a bit tough because I'm only five foot tall for me to fold it back up. So I'm gonna have my friend Keith at Intech help me. Very easy, just fold it back up and it clips into place on both sides. See how simple that is? What a great design. Now, if you need additional sleeping, the sofa underneath is 26 inches wide and over seven feet long. So you can always use that. The bunk is an option in this trailer. So if you don't have the bunk in your trailer, you would have additional cabinet across the back and right along here above the window would be some netting to hold a little more gear. The large window is so nice, gives you all that visibility Every window is gonna have a pull down blackout shade. It's easy to use, rolls right back up out of the way. And in the corner, I like to point out there is a little corner shelf with the 12 volt plug. It's just a nice handy thing to have if you want to charge your cell phone or uh, plug in anything electronic there in the corner. Right behind me is gonna be the television that of course is on a swing arm. So you can pull it out and angle it if you need to. 
Up above, a little more storage and the Bluetooth stereo. There's speakers on both sides here and then a second set of speakers in the bedroom. So you can have zone one or a zone two. Now let's move across, take a look at the kitchen. Intec always designs a beautiful kitchen and this is no exception. They've got the large brushed aluminum farm sink, the high spout, really nice, single handle. Over here, glass top, Dometic stove, flips up, two burners, lift up, fold it right back down again. So all of this can be used as counter space if you're not cooking on the stove. Right in the back, there's an accent light or that light right underneath the cabinetry. It's always important for me to have a light in the kitchen. It seems to be a dark area in some trailers. The cabinets up above have a magnetic catch, so you have to give them a pretty solid tug to get it open. But it's got great space. You've got two separate cabinets up here, about 12 inches deep, and you don't have all those annoying latches to adjust. And they're gonna stay closed when you're driving down the road. I love the laminate look on the outside. It is super easy to clean and gives it a nice modern look with none of those handles to get in your way. There is a high powered fan right here in the kitchen. Great for when you're cooking and the controls are right here behind the stove. There's hooks here for pot holders, utensils, whatever you need. And just above that is the monitor panel that's gonna tell you how full your fresh gray and black tanks are. Now underneath that, you'll also see the switches for the water pump, the tank heaters, there is a line heater, and there's also gas and electric on your water heater. So let's talk briefly about the tank heater and the line heater. If you're traveling down the road, you have enclosed tanks underneath, but you need those to stay warm if you're in freezing weather. So not only do you have a switch so that it will keep the tanks warm, but you also have a switch for those lines connected to it. That is a great feature for this trailer because you may want to camp in any kind of weather. All right, let's keep going. Down below, there's the microwave and more storage. You've got two drawers right here. Nice feature to have. They're about three inches deep, so easy to see what's in them, maybe great for silverware, and then a nice open cabinet underneath. Lots of space there. And of course, you can build it out to be whatever type of storage you want. Let's go around to the side of this cabinet because we have a few more controls there I wanna show you. There is the switch for the main lights above us. There is also another switch in the bedroom. So this is double switched as many of the main lights are in Intec. Next to that is the cabinet light because you do have the nice blue cabinet lights giving it a really warm ambiance in here and the porch light for the outside. Now to the right, there's a 110 plug and underneath the lights for your awning. Let me show you that briefly. The Gerard awning is such a high quality. I love the way their controls work because there is an in and an out that you only push once and the awning automatically goes all the way out. No reason to hold the button, but there is a button in the middle that says stop. So if you'd only like it halfway out, you can stop it at whatever point you want. On the right hand side, there is the on and off for the light. And underneath, there is a button that says close and off. I mean, why am I making such a big deal? Because it is so nice to simply push that button. It turns off the light, closes the awning, and you walk away. Really nice feature for this great awning. The refrigerator is a 10 cubic foot refrigerator. Look how deep that is. This two door refrigerator is 12 volt. Now, if you're not familiar with the new 12 volt compressor fridges, let me tell you a little bit about them. They are like your home refrigerator. They're very quiet and extremely efficient. They are not like the ones that you're used to maybe on an RV. They cool in a couple of hours. They use a fraction of the battery power and they allow you to have this large refrigerator because it doesn't have to vent on the outside. 
So trust me, this is a great refrigerator to have. Up above, you have another compartment with that nice blue lighting. And down below, one more drawer. All right, let's go across the hallway here and take a look at the combination bathroom. Notice this is a sealed door. That means that there is no need for a shower curtain in here to get in your way. This is what we call a wet bath when the toilet and the shower are in the same compartment. That is a great way to maximize the living space in your trailer. Now let's take a look at some of the great features in here. You know, who would think of an accent wall in a bathroom, but having the back wall be the silver aluminum just gives it a nice perk along with the silver bag on the right hand side that has compartments for everything that you might need in the shower. They have the upgraded porcelain toilet. Again, really nice residential style feature. The shower head that moves up and down so you can adjust the height, LED lights and the fan all in the ceiling. Just a really nice setup for a trailer this size. This trailer is equipped with twin beds. Now that may not be what you were looking for in a trailer, but it allows both people to get in and out of bed in the middle of the night without disturbing each other. And it makes a very versatile trailer. These are six inch memory foam mattresses, top quality and so comfortable. Storage up above on both sides, you have a closed cabinet and an open compartment. And in between, a cabinet here, two shelves, and of course, a drawer about two inches deep and underneath plenty of storage right under there. Now, all of this could be designed depending on what you would like to store up in the front. Up above, there are three compartments, only about two to three inches deep and they are at an angle, but great for all those small things you'd like to keep in the bedroom here. Remember I mentioned you have speakers on both sides and reading lights that are blue and white. The window up above, one of my favorite parts of this trailer. There is a pull down pleated shade as a blackout shade. And of course the side windows that make it feel so open in here have the roller shades on them for blackout. So great sleeping, power fan on the top to move the air around. This is such a versatile design and makes the trailer feel so open. Let me show you briefly the controls right here on the wall. Up on the top is the controls for the Max Air fan and the controls underneath are for the furnace and the air conditioner. That air conditioner is in this center hallway so it cools the trailer very nicely. Now you notice there is a little bit of a drop down in the ceiling. Remember it's 611 in the main part of the trailer and 611 in the bedroom. It does drop down, but only to six foot six, still a very comfortable height. Below that, you're gonna have the bedroom lights, the cabinet accent lights, which of course are that nice recessed blue lighting and the main lights in the cabinet. Again, there are two bedroom light switches. There is one right next to the bed and one here at the entryway. Underneath these beds, there is storage, but it's accessible from the outside. So I'll show you that in just a minute. But on this left side, there is a compartment for the batteries. Now this trailer is equipped with the off-grid package. It is an option. And what that includes is four solar panels on the roof. That's 400 watts of solar panels. And they are the glass panels, not the flex panels. So they have a lot more durability and a longer life. Now they feed into an MPPT charge controller that is gonna charge the two lithium ion batteries in this compartment. They are 100 amp hour batteries. So you have 200 amp hours of lithium batteries under here. And that connects to the 2000 watt inverter that connects to every plug in this trailer. So on those batteries, you can run everything in this trailer except for the air conditioner. That's very cool for an off-grid package. Now, if you don't have the off-grid option, you will have a single wet cell battery in this compartment, but as you can see, there's plenty of space and you could add or upgrade at any time. 
I love the inside of this trailer, but it's time to go outside and take a look at all the great features out there. Let's go. With an adventure trailer like this, it's meant for outdoor space. So you have that great Girard 14 foot awning and it comes out 10 feet to make a great outdoor covering out here. I love the diamond plate along all four sides of this trailer, the off-road tires, and take a look right here. The magnetic catch holding this door open and the outside kitchen. The Suburban Grill plugs in right underneath us with the gas port. You could also plug in any other appliance you'd like right here in this gas port if you had something additional you wanted to use. 12 volt refrigerator and a little more space right in front of it for storage. This would be a great cooking space. Now, right up front, I love the angled view of this. A nice clean look, full size spare mounted right on the front. And in here, you'll see the double propane tanks, the automatic switch over regulator. I like that it's so easy to get to right there. And this is a great place to point out the aluminum frame. This is a triple tongue. It is integrated into the build of the camper. So it's extremely strong. Nice electric tongue jack and stabilizer jacks on all four corners. And remember I mentioned that there was storage underneath all of these interior areas. So you've got another nice storage cabinet. Now this is almost three feet deep. A lot of great things could store in here. The sewer hose holder is right in front of your sewer dump right here. And you'll see low point drains and the handles for the gray and the black tank. Now, this has a 44 gallon fresh tank, 30 gallon gray and 26 gallon black. If you wanted to add a portable solar panel, maybe you don't have the off-grid package, maybe you do, but additional solar can be added right here. Just plug it in. Next to that, the satellite or cable connection and the 30 amp short cord plugs in right next to that. So all of it is right here on the trailer. Now let's move to the back. You have the vent for the furnace, the inlet for your city water, and of course, filling that fresh tank, gas electric, six gallon water heater, and a spray port right here. You've got the curled up sprayer that's gonna have a quick connect in case you wanted to spray down the dog, hose off your feet at the beach, that kind of thing. And another storage compartment. Easy magnetic catch and a place for more gear. On the back, there is at the top a place that is pre-wired for a backup camera. That can be added by your dealer if that's important to you. There is a super large compartment right here on the back. Really, I told you there was great outside storage on this trailer. Now down below, you do have a hitch that holds 175 pounds. Diamond plate across the back again. There are so many great features on this trailer to get you off the highway and out there having fun. I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.